Last Tuesday, December 13th, a conference debate was held at the capital Tunis on how Tunisian startups can raise funds from international venture capitalists. The event was co-organized by the Financial Services Volunteer Corps, the Middle East Partnership Initiative, and Cartage Business Angels, and was co-hosted by Wiki Startup and the Mediterranean School of Business. This event is about startup boom in Tunisia. We are looking to promote investment, international investment in Tunisia, and we are trying to help uh, innovative entrepreneurs to get confidence and to have uh, a, li a limitless ambition. The two keynote speakers were Mr. Edward G. Anderson, who is the managing general partner of Ventures West Management INC, a Canadian venture capital management firm founded in 1968, and Mr. Thibault Parch, attorney at law who is a partner at the investment management practice of Lyons and Loef Luxembourg. The audience was predominantly composed of young entrepreneurs and a number of venture capitalists. Both discovered during the conference that raising funds from outside your country is no easy task. Local market, but you're not going to be able to export it very well. So is there a big enough local market that if you go beyond Tunis or wherever you're, 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 you're working today and you take it to the rest of Tunisia, can you, you know, generate that kind of growth? If you can demonstrate that, then there might be a possibility. But again, if there's no real potential outside of your home market, it's going to be I think very difficult to attract outside capital. Um, so again, import substitution uh, probably going to be difficult. Stuff that you can export is going to have a much higher degree of attractiveness to, to potential investors. The Tunisian entrepreneurs found the presentation quite interesting and enriching. It was really interesting in the sense, as a Tunisian entrepreneur, I understood the challenges I'm facing to uh, raise an international fund. So I, I came here in Tunisia to share my experience on private equity structures. I found a number of people very well educated, very much interested and very much willing to, to develop the country and that's, um, that's been a very nice experience. Exactly one year after the beginning of the uprising that led to the ousting of longtime President Zinal Abdin Ben Ali in January 2011, Tunisia managed to pull off a political breakthrough, but now faces the most important economic challenge in its history. Uh, easing access to uh, SME financing is a crucial problem in Tunisia because uh, de facto 95% of uh, Tunisian firms are SMEs and it is uh, very important to consider easing uh, their uh, access to the funds. Tunis.